At Lauterbach, we develop powerful debugging and trace tools and have been since 1979. In this video, we will show you why tracing is required and what it can bring to your debug experience. First, having the ability to trace the signals over a long time is key to understand how your code works and how you can optimize it. Here with this demo, we recreated an industrial environment similar to that found in many production plants. The crane uses a vacuum to collect various objects and move them from one spot to another. All the machinery, including motors, compressor, pumps, and the display are controlled by an ARM Cortex microcontroller. We use one of our trace tools, the MicroTrace, a mixed signal probe to analyze the signals, and the Trace32 PowerView software. In this system, there are many possibilities of malfunction, and some of them can be analyzed only in real time. For example, if the pump pressure is unstable, the marble could fall sporadically. If we set a breakpoint, we will stop the system and without the vacuum, the marble will fall. So it is impossible to use traditional debug methods such as stop mode debugging to determine what happens when an unexpected fall occurs. That's why we need to let the system run and capture the data on the fly. That's real-time tracing, a non-intrusive debugging method. The more data I collect, the better able I will be to solve the problem. At Lauterbach, we propose a complete set of analysis functions. With the Trace32 PathView software, you can visualize the data in real time and debug several tasks and even several cores in parallel. Now let's have a closer look at the program flow trace, the instrumentation trace, the code coverage, and the protocol analysis. First, with the program flow trace, we can monitor all executed instructions in the microprocessor. Identify the active tasks and the execution order and measure the computation time occupied by all software modules. The instrumentation trace is a software trace method supporting user-generated events, including a printf style debugging. It can generate high-level language outputs during the program flow to understand it better. Here we see the output messages describing the current task taking place during the execution of the marble track. The code coverage is key to demonstrate adherence to security and safety standards. It identifies the pieces of code which have or have not been executed, marked here with the yellow lines. It helps you prove that your test bench covers all corner cases. Finally, the built-in protocol analyzer helps to decode communication signals. For example here, we use the mixed signal probe to sample the hardware signals of the I2C bus between the display and the microcontroller. Then, Trace32 translates these signals into readable I2C protocol information. A trace tool is essential in a testing environment. It allows you to watch how your code behaves and verify the integrity of your test bench. You can debug, optimize, and build safer systems. Industrial production, engine control unit, automotive safety, smart home, robotics, Mobile communications, the scope is large and diverse. For any further information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.